Hey everybody, welcome to the Science of Golf Performance Multiform Show. My name is Bobby, I'll be hosting today. To my right is... Uh, my name's Chris. To my left is... And my name's Tyler. Today we are talking about the three things that golfers wish they knew before they hurt their backs. So, Tyler, I want to kick it to you. All right, you've got a favorite topic that you just want to inform everybody about. I mean, he literally was fighting with, as we were, we were like trying to map this out, he literally almost took Bobby out. I, I couldn't even write it down fast enough before Tyler jumping in. This is my spot. So, Tyler, this is your favorite thing to talk about. Let's inform the viewers. What is the first thing that they should assess and know about if their back is hurting? I mean, I guess I'm the mobility master now, so it only makes sense. We can have a name. Mighty mobility master. master. The self-proclaimed. Um, I guess it only makes sense to talk about your mobility, uh, specifically hips. So a lot of times I'll be working with one of the athletes who I have um, on my virtual team, and they'll tell me, they'll be like, yeah, like I feel like my back is tweaked a little bit after my round yesterday. I've been foam rolling it for the past three days. I got nothing. And it's like, okay, that's that's great. It's obviously showing that foam rolling your back is not the go-to. Um, Wait. <laughs> what? Stop it. What? <laughs> Pause. <laughs> Working on the area that hurts is not always the solution? No. Wow. Let's just roll. That's what they call a foam roller. You just roll over it, right? You just roll it over where you're Yeah, you just back goes. and forth. Uh, roll. You sure he was going back and forth? Uh, shoot. Dang it, I, I better get him on a call. <laughs> no, um, actually what I like to, the first area that I like to assess is your hip rotation. So um, doing the home assessment, what's your hip inter rotation? If somebody's got uh, 10 or 15 degrees of hip inter rotation, there's a really good chance after 18 holes of golf, your back is probably not gonna feel too great. Um, and I guess I get asked that why a lot. And uh, it's a conversation Bobby and I have actually kind of um, grew about a, a week or two ago. We got pretty depth pretty in depth with it and we we're talking about how does your hip rotation factor into low back pain and what happens is if you can't internally rotate through your hips you can't hold your hinge or you can't hold your spine angle hey, through your downswing and then that causes hey, yourself to almost pop out of a position and that puts a lot of stress on your low back okay? and that's what causes the pain in your low back so yes you do have pain in your low back and um, that is where the pain is, is coming from, but ultimately your hip rotation is what's causing that. So there's uh, two differences. I guess there's the low or the pain is coming from your low back, but what's causing it? And that's usually uh, like to dig into um, someone's TFL is would be the first area. The TFL is your primary hip internal rotator. So if we can fix someone's TFL and get it to release, increase their hip rotation by 15 degrees, wow, low back pain is gone. It's... Yeah, well, and I think that's you bring up a good point. Of, of sim there's a difference between symptom and cause. Right. And the symptom of back pain can come because you got trigger points, tissues not healthy. I mean, that, that can come from a, not, it could come from nerve being irritated, nerve irritated joints irritated. Set is ir yeah, it could come from a lot of different things. Twenty million things. Um, I, but I think the to actually truly fix it, and this I think this is a huge thing. If you do have back pain, you're going to want to know: Can you internally rotate in your hips before you go play? Because if you can figure that out beforehand, you can avoid a lot of missed rounds, a lot of issues, a lot of medical bills, um, and it's really not that hard to avoid. And I think that kind of leads into step two, or the second thing that you know most people who end up with back pain wish they knew beforehand was like keeping tissue healthy, and that right. kind of goes hand in hand with having full hip internal rotation. You, you brought up the TFL already, and you know, that you know you release the TFL, you get the two sleeves, you know the fascia and the muscle moving on each other, and all of a sudden magically you have internal rotation. It's not a, a, a stretching, it's not something stretching is gonna fix. Like no. Holding something, it's not that your tissue is supposed to be 10 inches long and it's only five inches long. It's just, I always use the analogy, it's kind of, there's a duct tape between the you know, your sleeve and your arm. Think of or your you just did too many bicep curls and now your too shirt sleeve I is too tight. I have been known to do a lot of bicep curls apparently after uh, last episode. <laughs> um, but <laughs> I almost got up to the 50 pound. Nice. Uh, if you don't know what we're talking about, go watch the last episode. Uh, <laughs> we're talking about the elite training. Uh, it's, it's a good lesson. Um, but I, I think the big thing is the most back pain is actually referred from a lot of trigger points. So like glute med, uh, the deep hip rotators, and we get tons of golfers that come in. Or psoas is another one that it, that it can uh, come from. I had a girl who came in, she was out for six months and seeing a number of doctors. Literally, it was a three-minute so as release and she could swing pain free yeah like that was all it took but if you don't look at the quality of the tissue and the trigger pointing that can arrive like 
can pop up because you don't have good hip mobility and certain tissues are overused and just the brain kind of locks them on, uh, you're missing a huge boat. So this is, a, this is probably, in my opinion, like, yeah, make sure you have hip rotation, but this is something that, I mean, you're going to talk a little bit, I think, a little bit more so about mm -hmm. the, the strength piece. But if you can, before you play, before you do strength, like, make sure the tissue is healthy. Make sure you roll it out you know, and not roll it. That's a I shouldn't use. I was going to say, yeah. it's going back to you previous. <laughs> pin and strip it uh, yeah, with, you know, a crossball, softball. Uh, I'm really not a huge fan of the foam roller. I think it's just too broad. It's not going to get into no. specific areas. Um, but, you know, don't just roll. Actually have a target and a, and a method. You know, go check out the earlier episodes on, uh, you know, stop stretching. and, and really Why you feel tight why constantly. You feel tight, right. And definitely the, sh the shorts, the mini series, kind of go over all of those. Mm -hmm. um, but these, those are, you can literally get rid of your pain in like five minutes. And you, if you know this before you go play, you stop that from happening. So absolutely. Um, and it's number two, but it's number one in my heart. <laughs> well, perfect. So then on that note, I'll talk about number one in my heart is once you get that tissue healthy, I don't BFR love our curls. Well, maybe, but I, my biceps a. never get tight. That's true. Right. Yeah. They're always simple. <laughs> So I, I don't want to be foam rolling and pinning and stripping and digging lacrosse balls into places for the rest of my life, unless I absolutely have to. What I always tell people is once we do get that tissue healthy, now we're feeling better. Let's try to get you strong so that you can actually handle what you're trying to accomplish. I, you know, we put Tyler's mobility section number one because, yeah, if you can't rotate, it doesn't matter how strong you are, something bad is going to happen in your golf swing, right? Then number two all right, if that tissue is still causing pain, whether that's referral, whether that's local, whether that's causing a limitation down the chain or up the chain, right? if you don't clear that up, you're going to go back to the problem. But then last, if you don't get strong enough, that cycle is just going to keep happening and keep happening, right? I think that uh, that golfer that you use as an example for the psoas, right? Once you get her out of that pain, then it's, okay, what can we do to get you strong enough to be able to handle what you're your swing is asking That's the hard phase is convincing the golfer, hey, you don't hurt anymore, but you're not done. Right. You're not done. <laughs> now you're in the actual like hard part of yeah. staying strong it doesn't happen again. I mean, usually if they're digging in that psoas, I'm like, that's a lot of fun. You're smiling through it. You want to do that forever? And they go, no. <laughs> I go, perfect. Let's go learn how to hip hinge or learn how to squat. <laughs> right. Um, so, I mean, there's a million and one ways that you can get stronger, but I think targeting the right tissues. Again, Tyler, you talked about the hips. It's not just about strengthening the core. It's not just about strengthening the low back. Get your whole body strong, yep. right? Assess where you're weak and then fix those areas so that you can kind of support what you're trying to accomplish. Yeah, 100%. I mean, I think short and sweet. I mean, it's make sure you have the mobility in the, in the rotary centers. Make sure the tissue is healthy, uh, particularly in the hips. Mm -hmm. uh, and then get strong. I always use, I always like the analogy, is get like the strength training is like the save button. Yes. And if you don't strength train, it's like writing a 10-page term paper turning off your computer without saving it. And then every time you turn it back on, you got to rewrite the damn 10 page paper, <laughs> like hit the save button. And that's what strength training is. That's exactly. The save button for it. So, um, I don't know, you guys got any other words of wisdom other than, uh, I mean, literally do those three things and you'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, short and simple. Straight to the point, but, uh, it gets missed a lot. So, um, hopefully you found this information helpful. If you are experiencing back pain, there's tons of ways to contact us. <laughs> Too many curls, again. <laughs> um, <laughs> there's plenty of ways to contact us, whether you want to talk to me as a physical therapist, whether you want to talk with our online team about getting stronger, assessing your mobility. Um, if you want to come into our lovely facility here in Raleigh, North Carolina, we've got plenty of ways to help you out. So hopefully you like this. Uh, share it with anyone that, you know, your playing partner that's grabbing their back after every tee shot, right? Um, share it with them, see if we can help them out. Unless you've got a big bet riding, wait until after their back goes out, and then you probably want to share it with them so you win the bet. But. That's how you win when you go play. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, wow. Well, <laughs> now I know. <laughs> cool. <laughs> all right. Thanks, everybody. See you all next time. See ya.